Google Analytics 4 has a lot of new features introduced. And, of course, some features are still missing. But there are three features in Google Analytics 4 that you should not use at all. Why? Let me explain. So the first feature is automatic form tracking. If you go to the admin of Google Analytics 4 property, and then go to data streams, select your website data stream, and then click this gear icon in the enhanced measurement section, you will find a list of events that GA4 automatically tracks. However, one of the features here is very, very useless. And I'm talking about form interactions. So if you see this enabled right here, I would highly recommend that you disable it immediately. Let me show you why. So while I have this feature enabled and I have this Google Analytics 4 property enabled on the website, so it means that I have installed it, then let's take a look at how form tracking feature will automatically track this form. To do that first, I will also go to the debug view of Google Analytics 4. So in the admin, I will go to debug view. And here I will see all the incoming events right here. So now I will submit the form, but here's the catch. I will submit it incorrectly. In other words, I will leave this field empty right here and I will click send. The page reloads, then it shows some message right here. It asks me to prove that I am not a robot. So let's prove that. I will click submit and then I see the error that the form was not submitted and this is the error right here. Now, if I go to the debug view of Google Analytics 4 and wait for a while, I will see that after all, Google Analytics 4 still tracked this as a successful form submission. And in fact, in case of this form, it tracked it even twice. So the expected result should have been that form submit event was not supposed to happen at all because the form was not submitted successfully. But in this case, I got two events. In your case, you will probably get one. Also, this feature sometimes doesn't work with certain forms. So maybe you are actually submitting the form successfully, but GE4 will not track this. So this feature tracks form submissions way too often when it should not do that. And in other cases, it does not track form submissions when it is supposed to. So in the end, you will end up with a lot of incorrect form submission data. That is why you should not use this feature and use something else. For example, some custom setup with Google Tag Manager. So the first thing that you should do right now in Google Analytics 4 is that you should go to admin, then data streams, click your website data stream, and then disable the form interactions section right here and click save. The next feature that I do not recommend using in Google Analytics 4 is also available in data streams. So if you go to admin right here, then click data streams, then click on your website data stream, and then click on configure tag settings. Here you will see a list of features. And if you want to see all of them, you should click show all. So there's one feature which is called collect universal analytics data and by default it is disabled so that is good and in fact this feature is not for everyone google developed this feature because they wanted to help particular businesses migrate to google analytics for faster but faster in this case does not mean better the older versions of google analytics have been around for a while and one of the tracking codes that was used by google analytics was called analytics.js. So if you look at the source code of the website where you have GA installed and you see something that looks like this, where you have GA commands and also there is function that has these parameters right here, it means that your website is using analytics.js. So this is a very old version of the code. And this feature right here, if you enable it, it is kind of designed to intercept what kind of events are tracked by this code. And then those events will be kind of translated to Google Analytics 4 and they will be sent to GA4 as well. So instead of having to migrate everything to the latest version of the code, which is called gtag.js, or instead of using Google Tag Manager, Google basically tells you that you could switch this toggle right here and then you will magically migrate to Google Analytics 4 or at least partially. But let's be honest, you're probably tracking a lot of stuff in Universal Analytics, which is no longer relevant. Or maybe some things are even tracked incorrectly. 
So my question is, do you really want to transfer all that technical debt to GA4 as well? Because actually migration to Google Analytics 4 is your chance to start fresh and to implement only those event tracking features that actually bring value to your business. Now is the time for you to prepare maybe a measurement plan, tag implementation plan, and decide what do you want to actually track with your new version of Google Analytics. So instead of taking some shortcuts, I would recommend not using this feature. And instead, you should properly analyze what your business is using, what features are valuable to you, what kind of insights are you usually looking for, and then implement them either with GTAG code, or if you want, you can use Google Tag Manager and manage your tracking codes there. Also, if you have this feature enabled, you will lose a lot of flexibility because Google Analytics 4, with this feature enabled, it will just take your event category and event action from Universal Analytics. It will try to translate it to GE4 and then it will send it. But you will not be able to pick which events should be migrated, which ones shouldn't. So I highly recommend that you look at the GE4 migration as a proper project and you dedicate more time to it, but in the long run, you will win. And also keep in mind that this feature works only if you have analytics.js directly embedded in your website's source code. And now let's go to the third feature that I would not recommend using. When it comes to the previous two features, I have very strong opinion of not using neither form tracking nor automatic event collection of Universal Analytics. When it comes to this third feature, I don't have that strong negative opinion, but I still don't find this very useful, or at least this feature does not align with my approach when it comes to migration to Google Analytics 4. So if you have, let's say, Universal Analytics property, and based on that Universal Analytics property, you create a new GE4 property, which means that you have connected GE3 with GE4, then there is a feature that allows you to import certain goals from Universal Analytics and turn them into conversions in Google Analytics 4. So let me show you what I mean, and then I will tell you why it is limited and why you should not use that. So first I have here Universal Analytics property. Right now it's not connected to anything. So I will just click get started, then create and continue. Then let's say for sake of demonstration, I will select install the Google tag, click next, click done. And then it shows that this universal analytics property is now connected. This is the property, I mean the new GE4 property that was just created. And if I go to the GE4 property, here in the setup assistant, I will see a suggested list of things that I should review and maybe configure some of them. So in universal analytics, if I go back to the admin and click on goals, in this property, I have several goals created. I have form submission, which is an event-based conversion. Then I have a destination goal. So if someone visits a particular page, then that is a goal. And then I have another goal where I'm using regular expressions. So in this goal right here, the condition is equals to, while the regex option is using regular expression right here, where I'm looking for pages that contain either thank you or success. So I have these goals. And as I've said, there is a feature in GE4 that allows you to import certain goals from Universal Analytics. So if I go to my GE4 property, then set up assistant and then set up conversions here, I can click to see more actions. And one of the options is import from Universal Analytics. On paper, this sounds good, but there are a bunch of limitations and let me show you what I mean. So first of all, if you click right here, you will have a list of Universal Analytics goals here. So if, for example, you have also time and page goal or session duration or maybe a smart goal, those goals will be grayed out. So it means that this migration tool allows you to migrate only destination goals and event-based goals. No other goal will be migrated because GE4 does not have those features. But even when it comes to destination goals, they will not migrate the goals that are using regular expressions. So here is the regular expression that I'm using, but I cannot enable this goal and I cannot migrate it. So you won't be able to use that. And personally, I mainly used regular expressions in my goals because I want to match maybe, you know, 
more complex conditions when I want my tags to fire. So regex based destination goals will not be migrated. And then I can select other goals that I want to migrate. So I can migrate this goal right here. So if a visitor lands here, then this event will be automatically created in GE4. So all it does, it just creates a conversion with this name, but you will still need to somewhere manually, for example, in G tag code or Google Tag Manager to configure some logic that sends this event. So this kind of migration is not very useful because you will still need to somehow configure your event tracking somewhere else in the code or in Google Tag Manager. So even though this tool is designed to save you some time, it will not save you that much time. Also keep in mind that Google Analytics 4 has a limit of maximum 30 conversions per property, while in Universal Analytics, each view could have 20 goals. So if you have in Universal Analytics one view that has 20 goals, then another view, and then one more, you have 60 goals in total. But if you want to move them all to GE4, you won't be able to do that because GE4 has the limit only of 30. So basically where you will end up is that you will need to rethink how you structure your events, which events are more important. Maybe some of these goals are not even necessary anymore. So instead of trying again to keep looking for some shortcuts with the migration, you should reevaluate what is necessary, what is valuable, and then decide what do you want to migrate. So even though there is this feature, instead, I would take a piece of paper or maybe create a spreadsheet and then plan accurately what should be migrated, what is valuable to your business, what should be the structure of your event names and so on. And in fact, I talk a lot about proper migration from Universal Analytics to Google Analytics 4 in my Google Analytics 4 course. We start from the proper planning from what is valuable to track, you will learn how to decide what is important, what is valuable to the business. And then after that, we learn how to properly step by step migrate to Google Analytics 4. Because it is not an easy task, but it's the right moment for you to do the right thing and win in the long run. So you should better invest more time right now, and then benefit from that in the future. If you want to learn more about the course, I will post a link to it below the video. So these were three features that I would always avoid. Do you have something to add? If yes, let me know in the comments. If you found this video useful, hit the thumbs up button below the video. That will help me understand what videos do you like and what should I create in the future. Also, if you want to learn more about Google Tech Manager or Google Analytics 4, then consider subscribing to this channel. My name is Julius, this is Analytics Mania, and I'll see you in the next video.